Right guys, I am in R Factor 2 and I'm in the uh, Dallara IR18 IndyCar. Um, and the reason for this is, well, anyone that knows me knows that I do play all the Sims, but I'm also a bit of an AMS2 uh, fan. And AMS2 has also gotten an IndyCar um, based off this exact model, right? Um, what I've done, I've also figured out how to uh, install the bootstrap stuff and files and all that. And I, well, long story short, I have it installed in, um, in Automobilista 2. So, I thought, <clears throat> that's great. Um, I want to have a drive of it, see what it feels like and stuff like that. But in order to do it and do it fairly um, and be critical, because, um, you know, if it's bad, I'll say it's bad. If it's good, I'll say it's good. But in order to get a bit of honest feedback, I thought the only way to do that is to actually go and drive it in a game that has developed the car in conjunction with Dallara, um, which is Four Factor 2. So, you could argue that we are actually driving um, in Four Factor the car as Dallara would have perhaps wanted it. Um, this has been developed with them, um, so we have to assume that it's probably as close to the actual car as it should be in sim racing, we think. Um, let's see, does it drive like a car should drive? I mean, I don't really drive this too much in R Factor 2. Um, usually R Factor I'll jump in for a bit of LMP action, but uh, not so much open wheelers. Um, yeah, let's see. So far, it feels really nice, I have to say. <coughs> Good detail through the steering wheel. Um, it feels improved versus what I tested a few months ago, that's for sure. It does feel a bit better. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, just being a little cautious, just so it's not to wreck the thing. I'd like to get a few laps together before we... Uh, is it walls or gravel traps? So, um, yeah, it definitely feels more neutral to drive than I remember. Like when I drove this last time, which was a good few months ago at this stage, the front end just felt very numb. Um, it does feel different. I don't know if it's got updates or anything since, but um, it's definitely better. Yeah, and I like the um, <coughs> I like the tire model and the suspension deflection as well with the downforce. As the downforce ramps up, you can see the wheels sort of being pushed out of your vision, and that's just the suspension compressing down as you'd expect. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. I have to say, very nice. Cannot really say a bad word about this. <clears throat> um, yeah. And normally I'm the first one to give R Factor 2 a bit of bit of stick, but as I've said, the guys at um, R Factor uh, Studio 397, over the last while they've been doing a lot of things right. Um, they've been updating what they should update, and they're doing a pretty good job of it, I think. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if this got some kind of update that I might have missed. But yeah, really, really impressed with this. I'll finish off this lap and then uh, we'll jump into Automobilista 2 and do the same car, same track um, and see what that's like. But uh, yeah, this is very enjoyable. And we go off track. But um, <clears throat> yeah, probably don't need Yeah, I'll complete the lap anyway. I hope that we haven't damaged anything. But yeah, this is um, this is better than I thought it would be. Uh, I have to say, uh, I did think coming into this that the uh, the Indy car wouldn't feel as good because you know last time I drove this wasn't um, wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I have to admit.
Yeah, it's way more lively. It's uh, it feels really, really good. I'm really interested to see what Automobilista 2 feels like in comparison to this. This will take a bit of a beating, to be quite frank about it. It just feels right, you know. It's a high downforce car. It's behaving as it should. It, the steering weight ramps up at the right times. Um, yeah, this this feels <coughs> this feels quite good. Um, let's have a look and maybe unpack some thoughts. Um, so, yeah, in general, uh, in general, like the the car feels nice. In the slow speed, it feels sticky, which is what you'd expect. You know, it's on racing slicks, and it it just feels the way you'd expect one of these things to feel. I know I've never driven one, of course, but you know, as I mentioned earlier, that. This has been built with um, with the guys at Delara given all sorts of data and whatever else. So we have to assume that this is pretty much spot on in behavior. My problem previously was not the behavior of the car, it's the feel of the car. That though seems to have been fixed. The force feedback is a lot better, a lot better. I can actually feel what's going on where before it couldn't. Um, and I haven't changed any settings, by the way. So um, yeah car looks great sounds great the model the detail i mean look at it there just a direction change it, it's just uh exactly the way a modern formula car should be um yeah hats off to the guys at 397 uh for this one um i'm impressed i'm impressed but uh, anyway let's uh park this here um and we'll jump into automobilist 2 and see what that new indie car is like it's going to be tough to beat this, but um, let's go for it and see. All right, guys, here we are then in um, <coughs> the uh, IndyCar mod in uh, Automobilista 2. Um, so, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see. So, all right, so we have the... I mean, it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, here is the model itself. Um, sounds great. Looks very, very similar to... The one we've just been in um yeah it's amazing looking really really good job on the model excellent job on the model um oh and look at the look at the little bit of flex on the front wing as well just from hitting bumps and stuff like that that's from guessing that is let me hit the curbing here and just see yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good um okay let's uh Let's do a couple of laps and um, yeah, let's do a few laps and kind of get this into a window. And um, I'm just going to take it somewhat easy on the corners, just with the tires being so cold. Don't want to wreck them or worse, put the car into a wall. Yeah, I have to say, like, initially, um, it feels quite similar to the um, Lara IR18 and Nor Factor 2. Um, I've only done a couple of corners, of course, but um, the, the feel is the same. Yeah, feels pretty good. Leave the brake balance as it is, I guess. I just wanted to see, does it impact any uh, knobs on the steering wheel or anything? Don't think so. Alright, let's, um, let's start leaning on it a tiny bit and see... Went a bit deep there. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, it feels really, really good. I have to say, it's um, fucking the wheels a little, but yeah, it's very similar to um, it's very similar to the McLaren or the Pure Factor 2's um, fire rating. The character is the same. It feels slightly different. I think in um, in our Factor we get a bit more road interaction, which is what we'd expect. I mean, that game kind of amplifies bumps and stuff. But um, yeah, you can still throw it around on both. The car still behaves very similar in both, I have to say. Um, you know, I'm, I, I feel like I'm driving this the exact same way. Look at the front wing vibrating, that's really cool. Gear ratios are a bit incorrect. All right, let's go for a bit of a push. Yeah, and I can feel immediately when it's going to snap like this. The the slip angle is a little bit narrow, as you'd expect on a car like this. Um, similar to how it was in R-Factor, I mean. But yeah, you can battle this car as well, which, uh, which I really like. Yeah, this car feels pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, it's impressive. Impressive. Yeah, I feel a bit more conf... Well, actually, no, I, I don't feel more confident than this. Do you know what they feel? They actually feel so similar. They really do. Um, Hmm. I mean, they both feel really good, I have to say. They both feel really, really good. I think this one is probably... Yeah, I think, I think, I think this one is more direct, certainly, on the, uh, the snap oversteers. Um, and I just want to see what it feels like on the low speed. Yeah, feels really, really good as well. Yeah, feels really good. One maybe small thing I noticed is the, the, the steering resistance maybe ramps up a little bit too much at the slow speed but then again like we are doing maybe 100k no actually no it's pretty much okay it's pretty okay it i mean yeah again i mean it feels um yeah let's just look at the replay as we talk exterior sounds are great looks fantastic behaves fantastic drives absolutely brilliantly um very impressed with that and to be able to you know jump out of our factor 2's own Delara um, and jump into jump into this one um, and have them feel pretty similar like I mean yeah top job top job to the modern uh, to, to, to the mod you know it's just really really impressive um, the model is great the sound is good uh, let's have a look at the onboards just jump back yeah you can see the you can see the wing kind of bouncing around up at the speed i think that's just with the wind resistance that starts to bounce around a little bit um that's a great shot that's a great shot isn't it hmm. yeah sounds brilliant Yeah, it, it behaves really nice, it behaves fantastic. And you know, like anyone that's driven the Formula One cars, 
um, in this game, like the Formula Ultimate uh, 22 or or version two and version one. Um, this this feels different in the way that you know the Formula Ultimates are absolutely hyper. You know, loads of grip, loads of power, just just it, it almost feels like you're being saved by the downforce all the time. Um, where with this, um, that's really uh, that's really not the case at all. Um, yeah, really, really impressed. Um, what's happened there? Just changed my final lap profile. Um, yeah, re really impressed. Really impressed with that. Um, felt fantastic. Um, and again, for us to have that in Automobilista 2 after, I think, the disappointment we all felt when we had that announcement all those months ago that we wouldn't get it through the official channels um, but now we've got it through other channels and um, yeah absolutely amazing absolutely amazing great fun to drive beautiful beautiful handling feels feels good you know it's got the right amount of steering weight as the speed increases it ramps up as well um, yeah fantastic absolutely fantastic Yeah, we'll leave this in here, guys. I will leave the um, the link to this car in the description. Um, and to the person responsible for this, thank you. Um, I will send you a, a coffee uh, for sure. Great, great stuff. Anyway, guys, we'll leave it here. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have both sims, go and drive them in, in each one of them um, and you'll see exactly what I mean. They're, they're just so similar. The character of the car is is the same. It's the same car. Um, just feels slightly different. Very slightly different though. Um, and for me, the differences was the, the road interactions and I believe that's mainly an R Factor 2 thing where, you know, the, 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 the interactions, the bumps and stuff is just amplified a little bit beyond what most of their sims have but to be honest it, it, it's such a small thing you know brilliant car in both um so yeah we'll leave it there guys thanks for watching and uh yeah go drive it, it it'll be worth it cheers